Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. We are back in the Solus Project here. Uh, and as you remember, we came down underneath this second island last time and discovered a couple of plaques, but more importantly, we managed to get through here and aside from having a little more food, we opened this doorway. So now let's explore what's down that direction. Let's actually take a look at what we have in our inventory. We have a full inventory, a lot of food, a sponge plant that we don't really care about, really. We got a sword. I've got my uh, flashlight, which, while it has 88% charge, won't recharge down here because it has to have the, the sunlight to recharge. We've got water. We've got canned food. We've got alien food. We've got another tower part, which we have to install. But in the meantime, let's just grab this and let's go and explore through here. Now this place is this side is blocked off with what I can only imagine is ice, and so we'll have to find a way through here. But uh, let's go find out what's down here, eh? Oh, easy. Um, I can't read what's on this on this hose, but I kind of want to know. So I may in the comments. If I translate it, if I manage to translate it, I will put it in the comments, like what the word is or the phrase is around this tube. Uh, but in the meantime, let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep an eye out. Oh! Leaving area. Zero tower parts. Five secrets left to be found nearby. Um, well, let's leave the area. I guess we'll come back if we need to. Because, yeah, Forward Vector said follow the cable. Alright, we're back. And I think this is... Oh my god, we're going back into the caves, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, like, back into the subterranean caves themselves. Okay, well, at least we know that there's, you know, our our base up there with Yuri. All this... has all this stuff. Okay. I mean, that was a much more significant stockpile, okay? So... We are good for sleep, good for water, good for food for now, and we are at 700 health because we have, like, upgrades and stuff. Okay. Let's... Bots. Let's just follow the... Hallways of Darkness. Yeah, that's a cheery name. Hallways of Darkness. Milestone one of three. Alright, let's see if we'll have- let's see if this starts forking as well, in which case we might have to start, you know, drawing a map like we did last time. Okay. Although the hose is like our, our main guide, isn't it? Right? What's this? Worship tabula. Three X artifacts, one relic of day, one relic of night, one relic of nourishment, one relic of aqua, and two relics of life. Okay. So yeah, there should be hidden places around here then. Huh? Freezing crystal? Whoa! 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 Hold on a second. First of all, hold on a second. Nope, there's nothing there. Um, let's just grab some water. Why not? Okay. So another temple entrance. Holy moly, guys. Um... There are still things, and they said five secrets left, but uh, remember, there are still places we have to explore on that island. So let's just take a quick look around here, and then we'll go back to the main island and... I don't know, keep looking at stuff, I guess. Huh. Well, let's... grab our teleporter. <gasps> There we go. Yoink. Ooh. Oh. Hello. Are these like doorways then? Remember there were these things in the passages of the traveler. Or the passage of the travelers, rather. Just didn't have those grates at the top. Interesting. Ooh, and boxes. Is there stuff here that we can't, you know... Pick up because our inventory is full. No, it's an empty box. That's fine. What about here? Also an empty box. That's also fine. 
Uh, and I'm not seeing any paintings on the cave on the walls. Oh, thank God. Unlimited food. We can now we can sleep here. I'm assuming we can there's probably gonna be water around here somewhere. Dishes. Oh my god, it's the sound of me stepping on these leaves freak me out. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, let's see what else is here. There's a ladder down. And these are things that are influenced by mechanisms, I guess. I didn't like that. There was like a growling sound. All right, let's just at least. Nope. No, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Down, down. Thank you. Down. Six hours of sleep, that's fine. We can do a little we can do a little exploration with that amount of sleep. I swear to god, if you start moving, I'm gonna freak out. What is this? Boxes. Boxes, boxes, containers, perfect. We got a, one of these alien packs that lets us make like a med kit. Okay, nothing else, nothing else. I haven't really had to use a med kit, in fairness, you know? Huh. Huh. Interesting. Not really seeing how this works. I don't see, like, mechanisms here for us to manipulate, right? Hey, buddy. And I don't see... Unless... Unless... A little bit further... No. Nope. Hmm. These didn't move, did they? No, they didn't move. Oh! They do move! Oh my god. Um... Okie dokie, then. Let's climb back up and see what we can see, yeah? Nice. Back up here. Is it? Oh. Oh. Maybe I need to make like a little bridge so I can cross over to that side with these pillars. Right? I mean, that's a possibility. So that, for example, I mean, I don't have to do this, but... Right, so I can go here, then go to that one. It's out of curiosity, right? Easy. Easy! Uh, I'm not picking a fight with you. Alright, so I need to, like, for example, I would need to move this a little bit closer there. This one would have to move across there. And then this one would probably be the fourth one. And then really it would just be a, a question of, like, throwing up the, the teleportation disc. Okay. Okay. Let's, 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 let's. Um. I'm, deba I'm debating with myself whether or not I want to do this first, or whether I want to finish exploring. Yeah, see, we're kind of low on sleep. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back to where we were, the previous area, the, like, the above ground area. I'm going to go take a nap, very long nap. We're going to go explore the, the last piece of this... No, does this not work? No, I guess those move. This one doesn't. Interesting. Uh, we're gonna... Jesus. We're gonna explore the last piece of the island, which is... that place with those weird little domes in the sand. We're gonna at least go see what that is, and then we'll come back and move these pillars. Okay? 
So I think that's the plan. I'm gonna cut it here so you guys don't have to watch me have to run all the way back to our, our Yuri cave. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, hey folks, so here we are. I uh, I stopped by the Yuri cave to first off get some sleep. We're at 12 hours now. Still good for food, still good for water. I also dropped a bunch of stuff like our uh, energy food, uh, a couple of these uh, restore packs, just to sort of clear up inventory space in case we need it. And certainly when we keep going down. Now I dropped our teleporter beacon over there just so that we can get back easily. I'm gonna try and slowly and carefully scale down this cliffside without killing myself. Okay, perfect. So that is the double gate that we didn't go through last time. Really, all that's left is to explore this area. Uh, and then we can move on. Now, uh, we are looking for, I think, I think at least one more mechanism, if I'm not mistaken, to open up uh, the door below. Remember, there's like a, another area we can climb down that has like these gates that are operated by mechanisms that we can open. And we only opened, I want to say two, but maybe it was only even one. But, basically, we're just looking for more mechanisms, right? And, okay. Let's see. Eventually, we're, and yeah, so it's just, just, just becoming daytime. And there it is. There are the, like, the spheres. Kind of curious about. What's down here by the water? A whole lot of nothing. Now we come to the spheres. Find out what the heck they are. They look like they're metallic. Interesting. Yeah, see? There's like a reflective surface on them. Very weird. Very cool, but very weird. Hey, maybe there is no, I mean, it, it may very well be that there is no specific significance to them, that they're just like a feature, for now, that they're just like a cool thing to look at. Oh, hello. Star sign bestows a perk. Perk Alanomeris received. Find more items. <gasps> Cool. So that when we open the boxes, we'll find more stuff. That's cool. That's worth taking. Or having, rather. Hmm. Uh, that's about it. I'm not really seeing a whole lot. Like, there's no wreckage here. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of stuff we can pick up. Now, we've already been up there. I mean, we've seen what's on top of these rock formations, because we were at the top of this hill. Let's just run through this archway and see if we can find something, maybe. Oh, we can find something. Or maybe is this the cave where we came out? No. No, it's not. We haven't read this. Our fathers. Our fathers tell of the first great rain when our people wandered from the mountains to the sea. Our fathers tell of the first drought where our people wandered to the mountains and found life seeping out of the ground. Okay, well, this looks like we're going to go spelunking, guys. Very cool. Okay, seeing more tablets. And a lot more tablets. Holy moly. Who's this? Relic of life. Yes. We're at 725 health now. Our father's two of six. Our fathers tell of the first flame, a light next to the horizon, and our people walked towards the light and rested up upon a hill. The ne Easy. Easy. Okay, the next morning, all around them, the land was covered in water. Our fathers, three of six. Our fathers tell of the second flame, which sat on the shoulder of the highest ridge, and our people wandered there and found plenty of animals. Our fathers, four of six. Our fathers tell of the third flame. It appeared from the sky and turned a tree into heat and light, 
and they carried its branches through the nights. Okay. Fathers 5 of 6. Our fathers tell of the second great wandering, when our people wandered to the sea, lighted a fire on the highest hill, and walked to the great mountains to create the flames. Okay. Six of six. At the time of the tenth great wandering, at the beginning of the tenth great rain, they came again. They brought us up into the sky. The sky ones. So I'm, I'm assuming that's Adam... Adam Sur. Hmm. Okay, so that was pretty cool, and we got a relic out of it. Doesn't really help us, because I think we're still looking for mechanisms. Uh, it's 50 degrees, that's fine. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going until we lap uh, our area, basically. Until we get to, like, the area that we've already seen. With the pyramid and everything. Anything over here? Okay. There's a lot of very strange noises that I'm... I'm assuming we're going to get to the bottom of eventually, but until now, until then, it's just all deeply, deeply disturbing that it's making these kind of noises at me. Um, okay. What's up here? Anything? Anything of note? Nope. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. I'm thinking, like, maybe there's hidden caves. Because remember, the first place had a sort of kind of hidden cave? Yeah, see, we've lapped it. There's the, uh... There's the pyramid. If you remember. There's the pyramid with the... with Really, the only mechanism that I can remember for sure. There it is. Hmm. Okay, let's get back on the hill. And see what we can see. Okay, so we're back here. I didn't read this? What? Gravestone 6 of 7. Here lies Mia the Herbalist, passed away aged 35 on Galia, 20 years after the Exodus. Interesting. Uh, and it's getting hot, hot, hot. So that means that the fire rain is going to come at some point. I need water, and it would be pretty good to get some food for... Or at least just have some food available for the moment. So let's run to this campsite here. We'll refill. And then, you know what? Just in case, just in case... I'm gonna go and see that, like, opening that I was talking about. The one where... That the mechanism's open. Uh, let's get some food. The water should be here. Right here. Perfect. Let's... I'm going to drop my teleporter right here. And I'm going to go check out uh, that area with the mechanism. It's over here. <laughs> it's over here. Easier said than done. It's over there. So let's do that. And then we'll come back and we will then go back downstairs. And play around with those pillars. That's pretty much what I think we should do. getting unnecessarily loud and windy. Okay, so this is it, right there. That's the descent. Let's see how many doors we managed to open, because I think... I think we opened two. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Okay, let's go down. Maybe we only opened the one. Nope, we opened two, see? And there's a third one here, and I... Yeah, see, there's not another one past that it doesn't look like, so we need one more mechanism. Okay. So. Hmm. Oh, it is going to rain like the Dickens. It is going to rain like the Dickens. Well, while I ponder on that, there probably is another mechanism somewhere. I just haven't seen it yet, and maybe we have to come back here. And in fact, we have to come back here because... Let's just go over here. The 
because we haven't finished building the tower, right? We need to build more of it. Um, so when we come back, maybe there's going to be a mechanism somewhere we can we can use. But until then, fine. Let's go. Let's go push on. Let's go downstairs and talk about the or at least go mess around in the hallways of darkness. Okay, so I'll cut it and I will see you guys back in the pillar area. So, hey guys. Uh, so, I've arranged the columns like this. We're back in the pillar room. Uh, so, one, two, three right there. I think we should be able to reach it. But, as I was moving this pillar, check out what I found. There's a hope. There's like a hole and an opening over there. And I think we could probably get it from this pillar if we just move it a little bit over. A little bit closer. Okay. Right over there. Um, let's do this. Since we're sort of running out of time on this episode, and I don't want you guys to just, you know, get super bored, and I don't want to put out super long episodes, because I feel like that's not really fun for anybody anymore. Uh, let's... Let's do this. I'm going to see what's through that hole. <laughs> and then we're going to see, depending on how much time this takes... No. No, just a little bit... Perfect. Okay, depending on how much time this exploration takes, I'm assuming well, hopefully not very long, uh, we will then come back and do that area, but we'll see. We're okay for food, we're okay for water, we're at 6.6 six uh, 6 .6 hours of sleep. Secret caves are meant for experienced explorers. Sure, for experienced explorers. Just in case, though. There we go. Let's see what we can see. Hopefully nothing here, like, kills us. Innovation of Flagellation 1. Yeah, that does not sound great. At all. Innovation of Flagellation, Milestone 1 of 2. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's... Where are we? We're at 76 degrees. That's pretty nice and comfy. Make sure that we're not, you know, gonna die horribly here. Okay. Broken broken pillars. Not a different chamber, same chamber. Reason crystal chamber, cool. Um Okay, there's one over here and one over here, so. Let's... Hey, buddy. Alright, let's drop one crystal here. And let's continue on this direction first. I think that's just a, a trick of the geom- or like a fluke of the geometry. I don't think that's an actual chamber down there. Okay, so we came from there. Oh, hello! Almost walked in on you. Um, easy, easy, easy. I'm not seeing a spike here. Good, 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 good. Okay, nice. Uh, okay, we've got a Stila. Cool. Got one heck of a cave. Holy moly, guys. Wow. That's cool. This whole place is very cool. It's also very advanced, apparently. Um, yeah, so this is going to take a little bit more time to explore than I expected. And there's water here. Okay. Do you think... Oh, I really don't want to go swimming right now. And that's not what I want to do at all. Let's go check out what's on that side real quick, and then we might call it a day. Because I feel like there is a lot to explore here. Not count, not even counting that second area. Yeah. This is definitely... a lot of exploration here. 
Another little Stila. Cool. Hey, buddy. Two buddies. It's not bode well for me if uh, these guys are just dead down here. Okay. Anything else? Anything up here? No. Might be something back there. Might be something over there. You know, I don't put it past anybody, for example, to have me, like, have to swim underwater through, like, a passageway if this is, like, quote, advanced cave. Oh, hello. Not that advanced. I mean, it's not that much swimming, thank goodness. Alright, see, we saw that light from the other side. Okay. Whoa, 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 it's 7.9? No, thank you. Okay, we're still seeing floor here, still seeing floor. So there's just a little water on the floor. It's okay. Jeez, where is this leading me? Okay, 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 so far so good. Or at least so far so okay. Oh, and then we're... We're back on this side. Okay. Let's quickly look on this side again. There was an area over here. Right? Right here. I'm not seeing anything in. Okay. Just for kicks. Just for kicks. I'm going to just make a quick... Quick gander over here. Still seeing the floor. Still seeing the floor. My only concern is that I fall into like a pool of water that I can't easily get out of. Uh, and that'll like extinguish my torch. <laughs> huh. Okay, what's over here? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot except climby rocks that I really don't like to be on top of. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of this. Not a big fan of this at all, because this is like a one-way disaster area right here. Yeah. Okay, so bottom line, we're still... We're still here. That's fine. Let's quickly, just for giggles. Just for giggles. Oh, hold on. Chair. Right, this is where we came out of. Just for giggles, let's go back through here, quick, you know, carefully, to avoid these guys. Okay. Let's go see what's through this area right here, the other side, where we're, you know, where we, where we drop the crystal, and we'll we'll at least take a glimpse because I'm curious. Yeah. And we'll uh, we'll call it there once we sort of have a look, have a quick look. Okay, a place where you can easily fall and injure yourself. So let's carefully, easy, easy. Oh, there we go. Relic of night, resistance to hypothermia plus one. Let's take a drink of water to celebrate. And. That's it for now. I think, I think, when we come back, maybe we'll take another look at the other side of this sort of quote-unquote advanced cave. Or maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just continue on through the pillar area and see. I'm curious to know what's on the other side, because clearly that's a thing that we have to pass. And we do need more tower parts, so I'm hoping that it's going to lead us to more tower parts. Okay, so let's grab up my crystal, or at least let's stop here and, um... I may take a quick, like, one-hour nap just to save the progress, and that'll be it. So, we will pick up here next time. If you guys enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. Let's know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on what we're doing in the game, you think I'm overlooking something, you think maybe there should be a different goal, or you think I should be doing something differently, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Ba da ba, ba da ba, ba da ba.
Blah, blah, blah. 